Welcome to the NC Spin After Spin. Additional comments from our panelists just available on our website. I want to ask each of you, what do you wish you had said on last week's show, but you didn't? Becky Gray, I'll start with you. Um, Tom, we were talking about Obamacare enrollment, people who buy their health insurance with the government subsidies on the health exchanges. We talked about Medicaid expansion. We talked about work requirements. Um, the point that I'd like to make with that is if we're going to provide services and help for people that truly need it, and I think that everyone would agree that that is a responsibility that we have, we have to make sure that those services are available to people who truly need it. So I think that there always needs to be an evaluation of, you know, who needs it, when they need it, and to, again, to ensure that those who need it get it and those that don't are moved on to other things. I also think that it's really important to make work part of this whole welfare program, thinking about how do we help people. The best way out of poverty is to have a job. The best route to self-confidence, self-reliance, being able to take care of yourself and the pride that comes with that, being able to take care of your family comes with work. So I think when we're talking about these government programs, we always need to keep in mind not how do we get more people dependent on it, but how do we help people get off those government I, services I and become self-reliant. Grade, grade school history when I, when I heard that uh, Captain John Smith told the, the settlers in Virginia, if you don't work, you don't eat. John Hood, what do you wish you'd have said on last week's show? Well, speaking on health care also, I made a brief point about the individual mandate that was gotten rid of in the tax reform bill. The notion is that this will lead to a dramatic reduction in people signing up for the Affordable Care Act. I think that is unlikely, and I think it's important to understand we got into that during the repeal debate last year, the argument was, you know, millions of people will be thrown off of the Affordable Care, Care Act if the uh, Republican bill passed, which was utter nonsense. Most of the people were going to choose not to have to force to, they wouldn't have to be paying for a health care system at a high level that didn't do anything for them, but the people who benefited from it would stay on it. Well, the Democrats won that argument and screwed themselves up here because now the Republicans came in and said, well, if that's true and we get rid of the mandate, we'll save all of this tax money. It's, it's one of the ways they paid for the federal tax bill. I think that was dishonest on the Republicans' part. It's not going to generate that much savings because the mandate, get it, getting rid of the mandate is not going to affect that many people, at least in the short run. Chris Fitzsimon, what do you wish you'd have said on last week's show? Well, I wish I would have. Uh, we talked about the health care, uh, Obamacare. John and, and Becky have both referred to it. One thing, if, if you repealed Obamacare completely, tomorrow, if you took it all off the tax rolls, that means if you went to the doctor and you had had breast cancer or leukemia or any other pre-existing condition, even a much milder one, the insurance company could charge you anything they want. Obamacare is more than just an individual mandate and signing up for coverage. It's uh, pre-existing conditions that they can't charge you more. It's making sure you have free diagnostic care like physicals and all sorts of those things. It's subsidies to clinics and also Obamacare is vastly more than just an individual mandate. All right. Rufus Edmiston, what do you wish you well, to we, say? We were talking about school choice, and I, I wanted to add in there when I said that as long as they had a good teacher, a teacher aide, I, I, I'm a great believer on that. And also, as long as it does not denigrate the public school system, I think you can go too far. We seem to have a healthy mix now, but let's not forget that most of us went to public schools, and some of us turned out relatively well. Some of us actually learned uh, something. Yes, yes, we had good teachers. Well, thanks for watching the Afterspin. We'll have more video all during the week on ncspin.com. <laughs>